The National Minimum Wage Act 1998 creates a minimum wage across the United Kingdom, which from 1 April 2018 was seven pounds and 83 pence per hour for workers aged over 25, seven pounds and 38 pence per hour for workers aged 21 to 24, and five pounds and 90 pence per hour for workers aged 18 to 20. See current and past rates. It was a flagship policy of the Labour Party in the UK during their successful 1997 general election campaign and is still pronounced today in Labour Party circulars as an outstanding gain for at least 1.5 million people. The National Minimum Wage NMW took effect on 1 April 1999. On 1 April 2016, an amendment to the Act attempted an obligatory national living wage. For workers over 25, which was implemented at a significantly higher minimum wage rate of £7.20 than up to £7.50 from April 2017 and £7.83 from April 2018, and is expected to rise to at least £9 per hour by 2020. <laughs> Background No national minimum wage existed prior to 1998, although there were a variety of systems of wage controls focused on specific industries under the Trade Boards Act 1909. The Wages Councils Act 1945 and subsequent acts applied sectoral minimum wages. These were gradually dismantled, until the Trade Union Reform and Employment Rights Act 1993 abolished the 26 final wages councils that had protected around 2,500,000 low paid workers. Part of the reason for Labour's minimum wage policy was the decline of trade union membership over recent decades weakening employees' bargaining power, as well as a recognition that the employees most vulnerable to low pay especially in service industries were rarely unionised in the first place. Labour had returned to government in 1997 after 18 years in opposition, and a minimum wage had been a party policy since as far back as 1986. Under the leadership of Neil Kinnock, the implementation of a minimum wage was opposed by the Conservative Party and supported by the Liberal Democrats. Topic <inaudible> overview. <inaudible> The NMW rates are reviewed each year by the Low Pay Commission, which makes recommendations for change to the government. The following rates apply as of April 2017. Topic: <laughs> Law. The National Minimum Wage Act 1998 applies to workers, section 1, 2, that is anyone who has a contract to do work personally other than for a customer or a client, section 54, 3. Those working through agencies are included section 34 so that the agency's charges must not reduce a worker's basic entitlement. Home workers are also included and the Secretary of State can make order for other inclusions. The Secretary of State can also make exclusions, as has been done for au pairs and family members in a family business. Share fishermen paid by a share of profits are excluded, as are unpaid volunteers and prisoners sections 43 to 45. The hours that are used in a national minimum wage calculation are dependent upon work type as defined within the National Minimum Wage Regulations 1999. The different work types are time work, salaried hours work, output work and unmeasured work. Hours to be paid for are those worked in the pay reference period, but where pay is not contractually referable to hours, such as pay by output, then the time actually worked must be ascertained. The principle is that the rate of pay for hours worked should not fall below the minimum. Periods when the worker is on industrial action, traveling to and from work and absent are excluded. A worker who is required to be awake and available for work must receive the minimum rate. This does not prevent use of zero-hour contracts, where the worker is guaranteed no hours and is under no obligation to work. Enforcement The NMW is enforceable by HMRC Section 14, or by the worker making a contractual claim or through a wrongful deduction claim under Part 2 of the Employment Rights Act 1996. Section 18 provides for compensation. Employers must not subject their workers to dismissal or any other detriment Section 25 and Section 23. In October 2013, new rules to 
name and shame. Employers paying under the minimum wage were established, so that the names of most employers issued with a notice of underpayment are published. In 2014, the names of 30 employers were released by the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills. In 2017, the names of 852 employers were released by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy. Case law Revenue and Customs Commissioners v. Annabelle's Berkeley Square Limited, 2009, EWCA Civ 361, 2009, ICR 1123. Spackman v. LMU, 2007, IRLR 741, Entitlement to Payment of Wages. Topic: Statistics. <laughs> 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 The Office for National Statistics produces information about the lower end of the earnings distribution and estimates for the number of jobs paid below the national minimum wage. The figures are based on data from the annual survey of hours and earnings. Perspectives <inaudible> 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 The policy was opposed by the Conservative Party at the time of implementation, who argued that it would create extra costs for businesses and would cause unemployment. In 1996, the Conservative Party's future leader, David Cameron, standing as a prospective member of Parliament for Stafford, had said that the minimum wage would send unemployment straight back up. However, in 2005 Cameron stated that, I think the minimum wage has been a success, yes. It turned out much better than many people expected, including the CBI. It is now Conservative Party policy to support the minimum wage. The former mayor of London Boris Johnson, a Conservative, has supported the London living wage since coming to office, ensuring that all City Hall employees and subcontracted workers earn at least £7.60 an hour and promoting the wage to employers across the city. In May 2009 his Greater London Authority Economics Unit raised the London living wage for City Hall employees to its current rate of £7.60, £1.80 more than the then minimum wage of £5.80. To put the pay in an annual perspective, an adult over the age of 21 working at the minimum wage for 7.5 hours a day, five days a week, will make £1,088.75 per month and £13,065 per year gross income. After pay as you earn tax pay, this becomes £997.62 per month or £11,971.40 per year Full-time workers are also entitled to a minimum of 5.6 weeks paid holiday per year from 1 April 2009, with pro rata equivalent for part-time workers. This includes public holidays. Current and past rates See also History of the minimum wage Minimum wage List of minimum wages by country UK labour law Ex party HV McKay 1907 2 Car 1 Australian Labour Law Case on the Living Wage S Webb and B Webb Industrial Democracy 1898 Liberal Welfare Reforms Trade Boards Act 1909 Trade Boards Act 1918 Wages Councils Act 1945 Tax Credits and Child Tax Credit Working Tax Credit Wage Regulation Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, which introduced the minimum wage in the U.S. Incomes policy Notes <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>